Good afternoon. Oh boy. Just gonna give you an update on the garden. It was traveling a little bit, so needless to say, I don't wanna be on camera right at the moment. So I was traveling and I think everywhere got tons of rain. So just gonna give you an update it's going to be a quick one because, boy, things are a mess right now. So here's the onions. Look at these guys. I was uh, a little bit worried about them. I haven't come out and weeded. I haven't been weeding at all. Well, obviously I couldn't because I was away. But, uh, yeah, they're coming along quite nicely. Onions are they are pretty easy to get along with as far as uh, what type of soil. I mean... How many times have you had an onion in your cupboard and then all of a sudden you have a garden in your cupboard because you forgot that onion? So onions are pretty um, resilient. Not like my chamomile. Look at that. Oh dear. It got flooded. The beets are coming up. Uh, once I have a few more, a few... Uh, <laughs> A little extra time on my hands. I'm gonna come out here and look at these radishes. I gotta weed everything. Um, yeah, going to be doing some eating some radishes soon. Look at that. Um, I'm afraid to pull anything. This is my dill coming up. I'm afraid to pull weeds because I don't know what's what right at the moment. These are carrots, and unfortunately, they look just like the dill coming up. So I have to be very cautious of what what I'm pulling out. Tomatoes are, like I said, they get their feet and then they take off. So they're doing quite well. Um, still trying to. Uh, new home for these extra cucumbers. I don't think they're really appreciating the soil that they're in. Um, they're quite yellow, so I'm going to have to add something that's really high in, higher in phosphates to green these guys up a little bit more. Just not sure exactly what type, whatever it is, is going to be a natural it's going to be organic fertilizer is what I'm going to put on there because they're they're really desperate for something. They should be uh, double the size that they are right now. But they're not. And I thought I had a rogue... Um, a rogue radish in here somewhere, but it is gone. I don't know where it is. The peas... They're doing, you know, pretty much as expected. They're coming along quite well. And my beans, out of all the green beans that I planted, I got one. One teeny little bean. And these were, this was a brand new package too, so that kind of makes me sad a little bit. Um, this guy's just not doing so good. Um, yeah, one bean. Hello. Hope he does well but tons and tons of yellow beans yeah oh a couple of new ones coming up here struggling but they're making it right there and where'd the other one go this one yeah they're struggling but I think they're gonna be just fine and this believe it or not these yellow beans were from a really old package um I don't know how old, I just know that I didn't buy this package. It was just one that was given to me, so I don't know how old they are. Hmm. Anyway, they got they got soaked. My, um, yeah, these guys got soaked. Everybody did. The tomatoes, these guys are growing up quite nicely. And they've got the cages too, so... That's going to help them a lot. Yeah, I see I've got a lot of... I can't wait to... You know what, just for the heck of it. I'm going 
gonna pull one of these guys out. Officially, this will be my first harvest. <laughs> there you go. My first harvest. Look at that. I'm gonna eat it just because. Just because it's my first. Let's see what's going on out here. Oops. All right. These guys are doing a lot better than I expected. And somebody suggested I put them on the other side of the wall there. Wow, look at this guy. He's like really eating up the... Uh, I put a, um, a couple handfuls of uh, nutrients in there. Or sorry, um, sheet manure in there. So he's really digging it. Uh, see, we have one missing. I wonder if... There were some deer up there checking things out, but yeah, we seem to have one missing. The herbs, well, catnip, summer savory, no parsley. That's not parsley. There was some coming up in it. And that's my oregano. Not doing so good. Um, basil. Time, arugula. Well, it's not doing. Some of it's doing good. Uh, cilantro. Let's get rid of that. So I have four cilantro growing. That's it. And sage. Yeah. When they got flooded, they got flooded the last time. And potatoes are. Yeah, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Considering they were crowded in them bags. And here, you see this puddle? <laughs> this is a prime example as to why when you dig a hole in the ground, make sure that you're not digging into clay soil. Because if you are digging into clay, you have to drain it um, because you can fill it up with the, the best, the best um, soil and peat moss. You can fill it up with whatever, unicorn dust, whatever, but it doesn't matter. If you don't have proper drainage, you're going to get what's called a bathtub effect. That's exactly what just happened. So this is supposed to be full of sunflower seeds, but I'm sure there's sunflower seeds in there, but they're not growing anymore because I built a bathtub. So that's, I don't know, that was my, my fault. I'm sorry, this has got to go because it's gonna grow too much. Take over my, take over some stuff. I don't want that. Um, yeah, potatoes are doing well. Anyway, oh, it's still cloudy, cloudy, rainy day. Um, watch your bathtubs. <laughs> I mean, that's that's today's advice. Just watch your bathtubs. And my first radish. Yay, it's teeny, but at least I know it's my first radish. I'm very happy about that. All right. Um, Please like, I'm begging, uh, yeah, here's the humble part here. Um, yeah, please, if you, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe, share, do, do everything you can to help me out with this channel because I really, really want it to grow. I want it to grow big, I want it to grow fast because uh, so many people are looking to, to start gardening they they don't know what to do um actually i was talking with somebody a couple of days ago when she had gone into a store and here comes the rain and uh the young cashier said so you just put a seed in the ground and it grows and uh, this person told me that she just couldn't believe that, that this younger this younger girl just did not know Put a seed in the ground and it should grow. We're not making fun of her, but what we're doing, what we're, we're thinking is, you've got so, so, so many people that just have no idea how 
easy it is it might seem laborious but it's not it really is look at them radishes you know that's how easy it is uh you just got to make sure you got good soil good drainage um good seeds and uh yeah and then you can move on learn your nutrients and this is this is kind of i used to um uh, be a manager of a small garden center and the research that I did there was pretty crazy so uh, I would pass that knowledge off to customers so this is kind of what I'm hoping to do I'm it's been oh my gosh since 2007 that this is the first time I've been gardening so I'm learning as you're learning so if you like what I'm doing if you want to share my little tips and whatever please share my share my um, my channel and help me grow this all right I will talk to you guys later and hopefully it'll be a sunny day all right bye now.